Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so uh, this will be... Sagittarius uh, Sun, Moon and uh, Rising monthly tarot reading for June 2019 and just bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards and we can go straight away into the spread. Hold on there. Okay. So, uh, the first card, which is marking the topic for Sagittarius, is, that is going to be uh, the Chariot card. Followed by the second one, which is uh, regarding the peripheral activities. Things that you can either go for Sagittarius, is, or you can completely pass on. It does depend how busy you are going to be throughout the month, or how appealing those activities are going uh, are gonna to present themselves to you. And that will be the Ace of Wands. So the third card regards to the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the month and that will be the Six of Cups. The fourth card here, uh, which is the positivity out of the month or uh, what is the positive energy, what is there to help you throughout the month, that is going to be the Death card. And then the last one that we do have for you, that is going to be the Guidance. The Tower is offering to you for throughout the month Sagittarius and we do have the Emperor. All right, so once again, uh, the chariot, it is the first one, which is the topic, followed by the peripheral activities of uh, Ace of Wands. Then it is the challenges that you, have, that you will have to overcome here uh, throughout the month that is going to be the Six of Cups. Afterwards, we do have the positive aspect, the energies which are helping you there, that is going to be the Death card. And then the last one, which is the Guidance from Tarot, uh, we do have the Emperor. Okay, so uh, it looks like that this will be a rather a good month for you, good month in the sense of that uh, you will be able to, or rather like you will have the chance to triumph over something for throughout the month. Now, um, as the chariot signifies, you know, and as the chariot manifests, usually uh, the thing that you can triumph over, it is very difficult to tackle with. And that is one of the reasons why you are going to be extremely proud of yourself and of your achievements, that is, at the end of the month, either in regards to your career or either in regards to your relationship. And moreover, Sagittarius, this triumph of yours, this victory of yours is going to be as well allow you to change your game or rather like it's going to be a game changing circumstance. So the first card, uh, which is the topic itself, that is the chariot. So the chariot represents that throughout this month, you are going to have the luck of the hard work. And uh, as you move along throughout the month, completing tasks, you know, and fulfilling promises, and as well, you know, taking on uh, challenges, challenges from a point A, a difficult enterprises to be tackled with and uh, presenting yourself strong, capable, you know, and as well tenacious enough to overcome those uh, rough tasks, you know, you will also going to start boost your 
pride, if I may express myself that way. I mean, you are to present yourself as a very proud, proud person of oneself, of one's achievements, and um, as well of one's capabilities. Uh, additionally to that, however, the chariot does point that along the, um, uh, moving along with the month itself, you will be able to engrave your own signature to present yourself just as one is, not to be a um, um, a faint shade of someone else's work, not as a follower. You're not going to present yourself as a follower, but, but as a, someone who is worth following, all right? That is a, um, a very important card in case you are uh, striving toward a new career, in case you are striving toward a promotion, for example, or uh, if you are trying to catch the... Um, the interest of a specific person, you know, as a, a partner, as a romantic partner, presenting yourself just as you are and being acknowledged for it, it is a, a great deal. Uh, the accompanied card that is to be the Six of Wands. The formation here, it is a passive enemies. So Six of Wands adds a shade that, uh, that these tasks that tremendous endeavor of yours which is to which is marked which is marking your triumph excuse me or that you are to be triumphing over it is going to be a, a long-term thing and throughout this month unfortunately you cannot expect these big results that you're probably anticipating nonetheless however <clears throat> along the along the month as i am saying you are to become extremely proud of, of your achievements. It's just probably at its initial state here, uh, you may anticipate to have even greater, um, you know, greater results than the actual results which can be fixed for throughout, uh, which can be fixed throughout the month. But that does not diminish the importance and as well the, uh, the productivity that you are to exert in your month, either in regards to your career or either in regards to your relationship. One more thing I can say about these cards now, in case you are finding yourself cornered and against the wall, you know, it's that you are really struggling to, for example, fix your marriage, to fix your relationship or to fix your career. These couple of cards as a, um, as a synergy I are pointing that things are not beyond repair, all right? Uh, the milestone that actually seals the deal haven't been met yet, and you definitely can't reverse this poignant situation, but it will require, like I said, a, a dedication and as well engraving personal signature in there. Do not follow any advice, do not follow any example, but try to do things as you think they are best to be done, that is. Uh, the um, <clears throat> peripheral activities are marked by the uh, Ace of Wands. So, aside from this um, big following, if I may express myself that way, the Ace of Wands points that you are as well going to encounter quite a lot of gaining for enterprises thro throughout the month, which are going to have nothing to do with this tackling that you are to have marked by the chariot. So it does depend, you know, uh, what your grand situation is throughout the month, how beneficial those peripheral activities are going to be because they are going to be gaining for. But I want to make a point here, guys, is that these activities could um, could basically distract you from the, uh, from the grand achievement that you are chasing. Or, you know, they could be a, a very fine addition to your, current, uh, to your current aims and goals. Giving you an example straight away, uh, a couple of examples here to make my point for the couple of versions. Let's say that you like your job, all right? You, you, you like what you're doing and at the same time you are striving for increasing your monetary success. So throughout the month, you may find those private uh, contractors which are wanting you your services in return uh, for a, a, a good revenue, that is, for example. And then this marks a, a gaining for enterprises which are to help you along the way. But let's say that you are uh, having difficulties in your marriage as you're entering in the month, you know, and you want to um, stabilize your marriage, meaning that you will have, you will need to get 
to put a, a bigger devotion into it. And while in the same time, your friends are asking you constantly to go out, they bought a tickets for a specific concert that you so much want to go there and so on and so forth. Then these uh, peripheral activities, which are gaining full by their, by their own nature, could severely damage your, um, your strength here upon what is substantial. So you have to very carefully decide, are those peripheral um, enterprise is going to serve you for a long run or they're just temporary gaining for enterprises and actually in the long run they're going to damage your situation more than they than they actually going to help it uh, additionally to that the ace of wands here encourages you if you have the time you know to pay attention more to your hobbies because uh, let me draw the next card that is to be the ace of swords so we do have uh, a um, active uh, active friends and uh, what I was about to say is that your hobbies could be traversed into something gaining for in the material world, moving on forward with it, especially with the Ace of Swords here. Probably in regards to your hobbies, you haven't yet discovered their full potential, all right? <clears throat> And uh, uh, actually, from there, you can, uh, how can I place it? Uh, you can establish, let's say, a, a new beginnings in regards to your career. But all in all, these couple of cards here, Sagittarius, are referring to, um, if I have to uh, go completely general with them, they are referring to that, that you have to be rather very accurate in regards to uh, what kind of uh, assessment you're going to put into those peripheral activities because like I said, some of them are going to be damaging, some of them are going to be fruitful and you will have to accurately decide. Obviously, if uh, your marriage suffers because you are paying more attention to your friends than to your uh, husband or wife, uh, the accurate assessment here is, is that maybe you will, have, you will need to slow down with your social circle and put more devotion into your marriage and so on and so forth. Now the um, <clears throat> next card, which is the challenges. That will be the uh, Six of Cups. So Six of Cups stands of the uh, the glee and the pleasure one takes from what they are doing. And that will be the challenge itself. Like I said, that at the start of uh, the month, moving along through the month, you will have the look of your, uh, of your uh, hardship. And as well, this hardship is going to mark the foundation of wish, fulfill uh, wish fulfillment and as well a big tremendous conquest. Unfortunately, not everything along the way is going to be uh, of your liking to be performed. Straight away, on an example, you want to recuperate your marriage and you quickly find out that um, your husband, let's say, uh, likes to have their breakfast in the bed, which means that you will have to wake up, let's say, a half an hour earlier or maybe an hour earlier to take a shower, to cook the breakfast and to serve it in the bed. That is just an example. Something that you don't like to do, but it is substantial for to recuperate your marriage. Just saying. So you will have chores to cover up as well, along with the pleasant experience from this um, undertaking of yours that is to be a, a game changer, right? And that will be the challenge to do and to cope with those chores throughout the months. The accompanied card here, this is the Hierophant and the formation, it is a, a passive friend and the Hierophant doesn't add nothing else, but just nothing else, but just consolidating the six of um, cups, saying that this in fact, it is the right way how you move on forward. It may not fall into your beliefs, but that doesn't make it untrue, okay? So probably you will have to readopt your beliefs or at least suppress your beliefs for the time being until you reach the milestone that you, um, that you are uh, striving toward, until you um, have that secure position either into your career or uh, either into your uh, relationship that is. Otherwise, what you're gonna struggle over is to make those people believe into your capabilities. For example, to make your wife believe that you are that you're willing to change and to work out uh, and to work on your marriage, all right? You will have trouble to um, convince or to make your boss trust you for that you are completely capable to push on this difficult task, this difficult project that many people beforehand failed on it. All right. So it's very important here to recognize that along with the pleasant uh, performance and with the pleasant um, 
unfoldment of one's endeavor, also chores come along with it and those chores need to be attended with the same kind of uh, efficiency as you attend the pleasant performance as well. So uh, that leads us to the next card, which is the positive aspect of the month. And we do have the death card. Now the death card, everybody knows that death is about change, but um, in your case here, uh, death card points the, these circumstances you are to create through engraving your own signature into your work or into your uh, marriage, you know, being proud of your achievements, uh, having that hardship and being fulfilled through the hardship that you are to uh, execute in it. You will have the luxury, uh, Sagittarius, to make a, a drastic change either into your lifestyle, either into your um, <clears throat> career or into your marriage. You will have the luxury here to substitute things that no longer work for things that actually are to work and actually are to um, resuscitate or bring a new life either into your career or either into your marriage. And as I mentioned hobby previously, this card could also refer to hobby where you transcend one's hobby from just being hobby into, for example, lucrative business, okay? Or you transcend one seemingly a friendship into a, a very positive romantic relationship. It does depend what you're going to focus upon working on because the chariot does not say what you are exactly what you are going to work on. It just it does says that once you put a fulcrum in front of yourself, should you chase that fulcrum with iron will and strong determination, there is no way how you will not be able to achieve it. It is just it is yours to take. It is yours to conquer, and you will have to charge into that direction. The accompanied card here with the death that is going to be the high priestess. And uh, the formation here, it is a, a passive supporters and the high priestess points. Uh, it, it is simultaneously with this combination, a, um, a positive and also it could appear as a bit negative. It just says that whatever changes you are to make, they're going to be for good. They're going to be like forever. All right. So be careful once again, what kind of a influence and what kind of um things into either your career or either into your relationship you are to readopt for throughout uh for throughout the month uh like i said re uh, as i said readopt for example you know you may uh, want to adopt a child just saying adopt a child with your husband because uh, you can't have one on your own and these cards are pointing that the process is going to be difficult you know but you are going to achieve a, a significant progress throughout the month although you will have a, a different options available here with the ace of uh, with the ace of wands but uh, somewhere along the month you will reach the milestone you know of the adoption and once that happens it's going to be for good right and you, you better be happy of it uh, basically this positivity here gives you the means for you to do to make your life exactly as you want it to be and I hope you know what you want and finally what we do have is the guidance for you Sagittarius is that is to be the Emperor card so the Emperor points uh, that uh, you will have to address all these endeavors and all these enterprises with huge amounts of responsibility when when they come around uh, additional additionally the card points that um, you need to um, how can I place it structure your routine structure in a sense go by a specific plan or make a to-go list or just you know make a um how can I place it step by step uh step by step routine because through it it is very likely that you are to uh become way way more efficient and additionally to that in the eyes of others in the eyes of your co-workers let's say or in the eyes of your suitors you are to look and you are to be presented way more responsible and capable than they have previously thought of you and additionally to that the emperor points that uh, as as long as or um, as soon as something exciting appears to you, should you have the opportunity or capability to take a participation into it, it's going to be a beneficial because this is going to recharge you with passion and passion is the name of the game here in the month of June for you, Sagittarius. The accompanied card here that is to be the... Um, <clears throat> 
Knight of Swords. The formation it is a active friends, and the Knight of Swords here points that uh, you need to also rely on your uh, agile mind. All right, you have to be fair, you have to be just in a sense of that no impulsive decisions should be made throughout the months. Additionally to that, you should not you should not allow your emotions to dictate over you. Although whatever decision you make, it has to be consulted with your emotions, meaning that. Um, just because, you know, uh, let's say uh, your wife told you something hurtful, that doesn't mean that you will have to outburst straight away. But just withdraw for a second, you know, or maybe for a day or two. Think carefully what your wife told you and then come back with a clear and pure decision in regards how you're going to handle it. Uh, but in the same time, that decision needs to be uh, consulted with your emotions, meaning can you forgive or can you not forgive? Because um, irrational decisions allowing uh, which are dictated strictly by your, uh, by your emotions are not going to uh, allow you to present yourself as reliable as you can. Um, <clears throat> so what I'm talking about here is that you will need to have that balance you know, in between your logic and your emotional state, meaning that uh, whatever decision you make, it has to be supported by those both qualities, emotions and logic as well. So that being said, Sagittarius, this was your uh, monthly tarot reading for June 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and uh, we are going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.